Hi, everyone. Welcome to the webinar of Curation Wi-Fi Log System Integration. Here is Kate. Hope you can enjoy this time with us. Before we start today's operation, please allow me to show some tips about this webinar. You will be muted during the webinar, and if you have any questions, please write down the webinar in the question box. The webinar will be recorded and you can download it from our website. Besides, we will turn off the monitor to have a good experience. So now let's get to today's topic. Okay, you can, as you can see, there are three contents of today's topic. First part, we will introduce what is Wi-Fi lobe system, Wi-Fi lobe e system, and the next part, we will introduce the WRS management platform, and the last part, we will introduce the WRS dispatcher platform and how to configure it. At the fourth part, uh, at the fourth part is Wi-Fi lobe system installation. At the first, I'd like to introduce what is WRS. WRS means Wi-Fi radio over international protocol system, which can achieve the transmission of voice signals carried by wireless signals over internet protocol networks, and with the LOB technology. The WRS can provide PTT service within, within the coverage of a LAN by connecting to PAC signals such as T16 and T165 and so on through a Wi-Fi router. Without the limit of communication distance, at the meanwhile, there is a dispatcher software that is provided to management the WRS and POC terminals. Here are the features of WRS for it is won't be affected by the carrier signals coverage. Furthermore, the WRS supports the interconnection between WRS and the POC terminals. Next part, we will talk about the models of the WRS. It has three models, which are WRS 15, WRS 100, and WRS 200. There are the different batches of them. As for the WRS-15, it supports one dispatcher account and concurrent connection of R215 terminals. And as for the WRS-100, it supports two dispatcher accounts and concurrent connection of R215 terminals. Whereas for the WRS200, it supports three dispatcher accounts and concurrent connection of up to 200 terminals. Next part, I'd like to introduce the WRS platform and the WRS dispatcher platform. The WRS management platform can display WRS operation status and main management for terminal's name and channel's name, as well as groups and terminal's priority, while as the WRS dispatcher, it is installed on Windows 
and it has many core functions, such as core, glue core, and salt message. Besides, when the terminal makes alarm call, this dispatcher will receive the alarm instantly. What's more, the WRS dispatcher management can also support the real-time voice playback. After introduce the WRS management and the WRS dispatcher, the next part I will introduce the architecture of the WRS management platform. From this picture, we can know about that the WRS terminals and the dispatcher work in the same lane. And if we want to expand the communication lane, we can bridge the Wi-Fi routers. Next picture is the architecture of the WRS management platform. And we can know about how the WRS works with the POC network management system in this picture. Okay, above contents is the is what is the WRS. And the next part, I will introduce the WRS management platform. At the first, I'd like to tell you how to log into the homepage. First, please enter the account and password, and then click login. The default account and password are admin. And if we forget the password, we can click forget password to reset password. Then we will see a proper interface displayed. Please enter the serious numbers on the WRS level and then click reset. Then we will go to the home page. And on the home page, we can see the amounts of online terminals and online dispatches that are connected to the WRS. Next part is the terminal management. On this page, we can see all the terminals that have been connected to the platform. Terminals latest connection time and network connection state. Besides, we can modify the terminal name and call priority of terminals and dispatchers. And I will, I will talk about the terminal modification in the latter page. The first one is the terminal ID. A dispatcher ID is unchangeable, while a terminal ID starts with an M followed, followed by the last 10 numbers of its IMEI number. And the second one is the terminal name. A dispatcher name is from D, for example, D1, D2, and D3, and so on. While a terminal name starts with the terminal type followed by the last four digits of its IMEI number. And as for the core priority, first, the core priority ranges from one to five and from the low to high. Only those terminals with core priority of four or five can work on the advanced channel. Second, a terminal of higher core priority can prompt a core over a terminal of a lower core priority. And by default, the core priority, sorry, the core priority of a dispatcher is five, and the core priority of a terminal is one. And as for the online status, the network connection state of a terminal is refreshed in one minute. When a terminal gets offline, 
its network nation states will be refreshed to offline about one minute later. And if we want to modify the terminal information, please click modified in the line of the terminal. And we need to notice that a terminal name can contain up to 20 batches. And after modification, the new name will take effort in about one minute. Next part, we will talk about the channel management. Channel management will display amounts of online terminals on all channels except channel 13. Besides, it supports setting hybrid warranty for all channels. And the channel 14 and channel 15 is hybrid warranty channels by default. And we can set channels up to 13 channels. The channels 1 to 15 are preset channels for normal voice communication, and the channel 16 is used for emergency only. And I will and the difference of the normal channel and the emergency channel is the voice data. On a, on a normal channel, voice data from, the, uh, from terminals is encrypted and transmitted through, through the WRS to achieve stable, stable communication. And on the emergency channel, voice data from terminals is not transmitted through the WRS and the high speed and secure communication cannot be secure. And under the situation of power architecture or breakdown of the WRS, terminals can communicate on this channel. And if we want to modify the channel parameters, first, Please click modify in the light of the channel, and we will see a dialog box displays below. We can modify the channel name and the last the channel level. Here, uh, here I will introduce what is the basal basal level and the advanced uh, level. If we choose the level of basal, the core priority of a terminal is when to find. And if we select advanced, the core priority of a terminal is four or five. Here are some tips about channel parameters modification. After we modify a channel name, it will take effort in about one minute. And, and please don't forget that Channel setting cannot be modified. The next part is the network extension. To enable the terminals or channel to communicate with half terminals, the virtual terminals to which those terminals are registered must load into a POC server. To achieve this, please tick the column of the connection park. In case of unuseful logging, please follow the inst instruction messages. Okay, the next part of the WRS platform is settings. At this page, we can buy the IP to get a static loadings, loading modify the communication port and password, as well as reset the system option. And don't forget that the IP is uncharable. The fourth part of the setting is the WRS parameters. Here are some detailed 
parameters introduced below. For example, server name is the name of the server built in the WRS and the IP address and the other parameters settings please read the operation in instruction manual manual if we are in need. And please don't forget after we setting after we set the parameters, please click save to enable the setting. And if we want to change the password, we need to input the old password and the new one and input and then click save. And we can also click the reset icon to reset the WRS. The following information will be reset. And next one, we will go to the next part of the WRS platform. This is the about page. We can see the model and the series number of the WRS machine, and we can download the dispatcher software and operation manual from here. Okay, here we come to the last part. The last part is the WRS dispatcher platform. First, I'd like to introduce how to log into the homepage. First, we need to select the dispatcher account and enter the IP address and TCP port of the Wi-Fi loop system, and then click login to go to the homepage or we can click setting to go to the configuration page. And the first part of the dispatcher platform is PTT function. Here are many functions. Here are many core functions here. Uh, at first part is the glue core. And if we want to make a group call here, please long press the PTT key from the left pane in the voice homepage to talk to the terminals in the same group. And if there is no online terminals, the group call will fail. And if the air phone is disconnected, the error message as so below will be promoted. And if we want to make an individual call here, please click a terminal from the member list. The background of the terminal will turn to yellow and the call with somebody will be displayed in the menu bar at the top. And if we want to cancel the call, if we, sorry, if we want to cancel the call, please click the terminal again. And if we want to make a temporary group, please take one or more terminals from the tree view in the left pane and click the add card to the large of the menu. And at the WRS dispatcher platform, we also have the function of start and queue. The start function means that if we use this function, the terminal can only receive calls and cannot make calls. While the queue function means that if we enable this function, the terminal cannot make and receive calls. 
And if we want to start or kill a terminal, please click a terminal and then select the start or kill. And uh, this patch can all also receive a uh, alarm call and make a alarm song to inform the administrator. Next part is the message part. At this part, we can support sending text messages and to send a message to one or one to one terminal or one group. Please click the terminal or the group card. And the dispatcher can also support playback real voice records from all two terminals. And just please click the voice records on the right pane. Here is the log management. We can view operation log and around log, as well as export log in Excel file. Next part of the dispatcher is the network state. Above the chip menu, the state of WS server connection is displayed. A green icon is for good connection. An orange one is for network display. And a red cross for network is disconnection. Okay, now today's operation instruction has been finished. Here comes to the QA parts. If you have any questions, please feel free to write down your questions in the question box and we will answer them one by one later. And the, and the webinar will be recorded on our Creation website. You can go to download. You can go to download if it is in need later.
Okay, here I see some questions below. And the first one is unable to connect the WRS management platform. Okay, uh, for this question, first one we we need to uh, remember that uh, we need to measure the device IP is correct, and and then we need to measure the device IP and the visitors IP are the same network segment. And if not the reasons of above, uh, we need to check. Uh, we we need uh, we can go to the we can go to the uh, manual part to reset the device IP. And here are the second question. Second one question. Uh, able to modify the terminal name or channel name so successfully. Okay, for this question, please remember that uh, the WRS man platform management will take effort in about one minute. Please wait for the it. Wait for the sorry. Please wait for the effective time. Okay, today, uh, today our introduction has been finished. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a good day. Bye bye.